Hi, this short video is about a very inexpensive way to get some power out of the headphone audio output of a cell phone. It's not the most efficient way, but certainly the cheapest. I'm using here a tone generator that lets me output the same sine wave signal 180 degrees shifted between the left and the right channel, which gives me a little more power than if using just one channel, even though that would be possible too. Each cell phone has its maximum power point at a different frequency and here it's pretty good at 10 kHz. As I said, we don't use the ground connection here, just the left and the right channel. Ok, let's turn that on and have a look at the input and output signals. The yellow waveform is the input voltage, the green is the input current, never mind that it's jumping like crazy. The blue is the output voltage and we see that the input current waveform is typical for diode rectifiers. The input voltage gets increasingly distorted when the output current goes up. At full power we have about 11 milliamps input RMS current and 842 input RMS voltage. The output is at 1.62 volts. That's limited by the LED forward voltage drop. And the current is at about 2.5 milliamps. The circuit is very simple, just for diodes and for capacitors. To mount this on a PCB, I use the BAT54S, which has already two diodes in one package, in the correct configuration. And by the way, these are Schottky diodes, with a very low forward voltage drop. Now let's test this on some cell phones. First, this one here is an old LG with pretty low output voltage. It works OK. Then a Motorola Atrix, which is pretty powerful. And the same goes for the next one, a Moto G. And finally, the weakest audio output of the phones I tested it with is a Sony Xperia. Even though more faint, the LED still works. Yeah, that's it. Have fun.